Today we're going to be soldering silver granules to brass sheet. First and foremost, you want to start by cutting all of your granules as well as all of your solder. You are then going to use your torch to control melt and ball that wire as well as ball that solder. Once you have everything pre-done, what you want to do is bring the solder and the granule together with a little bit of flux. Because you are melting it to that control temperature, they will naturally want to flow together. Once you're ready to place the granules on the sheet, you can use your center punch to create a starter hole that will allow the granules to sit firmly in that spot. You'll notice on the granny well that where the solder has flowed will remain white. The rest of the sterling silver will appear to be oxidized. Make sure when you are placing these granules down to the sheet that you are using the white side or solder side down. Heat distribution is key, so that means you primarily heat the larger piece of metal, aka the back plate, rather than the granules. This means both pieces of metal should reach flow temperature of the solder at the same time for soldering success.